So this is how you can hook up an external monitor so that someone can view what you're seeing when you're flying your FPV. First of all, right off the bat, the app, it's just an app that you use called DigiView and you have to use it with an Android device. It's not yet uh, able to be used on iOS. The reason you want to be able to have an external monitor while you're flying the FPV drone is if you're flying with a client. I got to fly my FPV for a music video a couple weeks ago and I did not have an external monitor, which was fine, but it would have been so much easier because I was filming someone running and every time they cued the runner, I wasn't really quite ready yet with my drone to swoop down and uh, fly next to him and um, it just would have been so much easier if someone could have been seeing what I was filming or what I was seeing so that they could have cued him better. And also the client would probably want to see what shot you're actually getting. So this is how, it's really not complicated at all. Just download the app, DigiView. Um, I'll put a link to it below. And then <clears throat> depending on your device, I just have this super cheap tablet that's like 100 50 bucks or something and you just need a cable that will transfer data back and forth so I have a USB-C cable that has a micro USB adapter and I'm gonna plug it in and show you how it works really quick okay so I got it to work I guess this app isn't the best it's a little janky maybe it's because I'm using USB-C to USB to micro USB but and so I was trying a bunch of different things. Um, I switched out my drone as well to the ProTech 25. But here you can see it is a monitor, but it is pretty laggy, even for a cable. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. But I guess if you have nothing else and you want something free and you have an Android device, this would work. Uh, the only other thing was I did notice when I was plugging it in, I think essentially you should just be able to plug it in, which it is doing now, but when I first tried to connect it, it didn't, it took, like I was plugging in and out, plugging in and out, kept saying waiting for video, waiting for video. Like I feel like if I... It depends on which one you plug in first, I feel like. Let's see now, quick, I'm just gonna unplug from the goggles. It says goggles disconnected. So now, so I already had it plugged into the tablet. Now, and then I plugged it into the goggles. And I think it's gonna be stuck on saying waiting for video. That's what was happening earlier. So, my so it so it does depend on which one you plug in first. And again, this could be because I'm using using a micro USB instead of just USB C to USB C. But now I'm gonna unplug this and plug it back in, and now it's working. Um, so I don't know. I guess it depends on what tablet you're using. This isn't the best app in the world, but it does give at least your, like if you are on set and the director or someone does want to see something, I would say this is a really cheap workaround and not that bad. It's just let them know there's going to be a little bit of a lag. Um, and then people don't have to put on goggles either. Yep, so hope that was helpful.